Coach Roberts. Man on fire camp is – it's on fire right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Not yeah. the heat in there, but the energy, the amount of people here, the excitement, what you've built here. And, and, and you put this together relatively quickly, right? Yeah, about uh, eight weeks ago. Yeah. To get 130 kids eight weeks out, that's, that's usually not how this works. You do know that, right? Um, I'm Well, I'm new at it, so um, – you know how it works so far <laughs> but no um you know some things came together we got some uh great people around that you know are coming with groups and um you know some some nice sized groups and a good local presence and um you know we brought in some good guys that were eager to help kids so i think uh i think that helped chill it's gonna be hard to follow man yeah first, first off did you get a little like Lump in your throat when Chael was talking about you, man. He was talking about you're the consummate tough guy. You're what wrestling's all about. You know, you, you, you show up, you do it. You take your lunch bucket to work, and, you know, he's talking about you. But, man, that guy's hard to follow. He, he's an incredible technician. Yeah, he's, he's really good. He's a sharp guy. He's a very analytical guy. He's a wrestling junkie. That's what a lot of people don't know, you know. I'm outside of the fight world and stuff. The guy loves wrestling. He follows international and collegiate wrestling and knows who everybody is and what the scores were and he watch, watches technique and c continually you know tries to learn and um you know he's just he, and he does a great job obviously has a great presence with the kids so. how do you follow that up <laughs> we're gonna do our best i mean we're gonna do our best you know we got more good guys coming in and um you know um but it was great yeah it's a it's a hard act to follow session two <laughs> strider came in and, and uh Strider, you know what I like about Strider? Strider pushes the tough stuff that nobody wants to do. Yeah, yeah. He, he must have been a hammer on top. He was a tough guy. He and his bar he, series was incredible. Yeah, to me. he was a Head tough lover guy. Head lover bar series? He was relentless. Uh, he did that. The stuff he showed today, he did to people. Um, one of the, like, one of the toughest guys uh, that would wrestle hard that I probably coached in 19 years of college wrestling. Just a hard-nosed guy. Uh, wrestled, you know, just tough on top, grind, um, you know, just fought for everything, t t tooth and nail, and, you know, and, and that's why I wanted him here. And uh, he's become a really good teacher. I thought he did a great job. Yeah, he was really good, and, yeah. you know, good for him. He didn't have to follow Chael, but he was just, I thought, felt like he did. He was just as good as Chael. Yeah, no, he's good, you know. He's uh, very, you know, he had a blessing plan. He knew what he wanted to do and stuff, and uh, I thought he did a great job. I was really glad to have him, and he'll be back. Okay, Coach Huffman's coming tonight, yep, yep. Crook County. Yep. You know, they put together an amazing string of state titles over there in, uh, near Bend, yeah. Central Oregon, Prineville. Prineville. Right, so, um, you know, he's coming in. But, you know, what's what do you think, overall, do you think that this is going to where you wanted it? Is this what you saw it being... I don't think you saw 130 kids, man. I didn't. Yeah, you know, I didn't know. I was hoping, you know, at first I would uh, have 50, you know. I was, I wanted to, you know, pay all the clinicians and uh, bring, you know, a wrestling camp to town that our kids here at Crescent Valley could obviously capitalize on, have all these other kids from other schools and areas to wrestle with them and help bring them along. I mean, you know, that's part of it is uh, for the local kids to, you know, to benefit from that. But, uh, no, we like to help all the kids, you know, wherever they're from. And we got kids from, you know, 12 miles from Canada, um, down to almost California here. And, uh, you know, from right over here, over by the ocean to, you know, almost over in Idaho. Well, we got kids from Idaho here. So, you know, we, we got a pretty good net. I heard you doing the podcast today with Gunner. Gun yeah. Gunner's an impressive kid, he by is. the way. Very sharp, but... Man on fire, and he asked a great question. I'm gonna steal his question, but yeah. why man on fire? And, I, and I, I know the answer to this, but man, I really get fired up when I hear about this. Why man on fire? Well, you know, it was kind of it was kind of tongue in cheek, you know. But I, you know, I'm always like I'm a high energy guy, I think, and you know, I always talk to guys about having energy and being fired up. And you know, one day I was just sitting there, and I and I just thought. Uh, you know, sometimes I say to my guys, you know, you got to wrestle like your hair's on fire or stuff like that, you know. You got to, like, bring it. You got to be ready. You know, I step inside the circle. You got to be ready to go and uh, be fired up and whatnot. And one day I just said, uh, hey, we could have the man on fire camp. And, uh, you know, it's no it's it's no secret. Um, you know, almost a year ago I, I got uh, fired unexpectedly. And, you know, that's well chronicled and stuff. So, you know what, go with it. 
Um, use it for inspiration, motivation. Hey, it's the Roberts Wrestling Man on Fire Camp, man, 2018. This is like almost like I'm a guy who's like I'm on fire to earn for my family. I'm on fire to you know like be back where I was and build back up. Is that is it something like that? Almost metaphor. Yeah, you know. I, yeah, I mean maybe. You know, I mean it's personal. I'm, I mean I'm not gonna lie. It was a, it, you know, it was a junk thing, but uh, it happened. It's over. I'm moving on. This is you know kind of like the kickoff a redemption tour, and uh, you know it's gonna present new opportunities. I tell you, I wouldn't be in a gym up at Crescent Valley High School with you know 140 kids uh, doing this, and you know a week after school got out. So you know. I'm I'm loving it, and I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and uh, yeah, it's a new step. So you know, when you look at Crescent Valley, this is not the wrestling room that I see at St. Edward. This is not the wrestling room of the of you know Graham. This is something where you guys could build a power. You had three state champs this year. You got a world team member in freestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, it's right here, man. Coach yeah. Lammers got a heck of a thing going. Your son Drew won state. You got both Lammer brothers. It, it's happening for you guys, right? Yeah. Um, could we see you building a camp system? Could we see Crescent Valley being one of the next powers? I, I don't know, you know, we're just taking it a week at a time, uh, you know, trying to get better. And yeah, obviously we have the kid going on, you know, Chance going on the left yesterday for Croatia or to the OTC first and then to Cro Croatia for the, you know, um, training camp in the, in the Worlds. But, you know, we have another kid coming in that was uh, a finalist in the... Uh, in the cadet trials. You have another kid coming in that's that caliber? He, well, he was a finalist. I mean, he was a finalist. He'll be a freshman this coming year, and we've got a, uh, I believe we have a boy that was a uh, national schoolboy champion coming in. Um, you have two D1 football players up here today. Yeah, yeah. One of them made the state for you this year. Yeah. The other yeah. guy didn't, he quit in the middle of the season. He's yeah. committed to Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. It's about to pop off here. Well, we're excited. If I know. got a crystal ball, I'm just telling you, I see things. I'm happy to be a part of it. All right. Next session coming up. You got anything else for me before that? No. I just, uh, I'm glad you're out here. And uh, I want to let people know, you know, about the camps. And uh, I'm just excited to help kids get better, man. Just always excited to help kids get better and that love wrestling.